While playing Mario Odyssey, I was always in awe over the endless creativity and imagination in each kingdom. If Nintendo wants to keep the momentum in Odyssey 2, the kingdoms must be perfect. Here's my top 5 kingdom ideas for Mario Odyssey 2. Mario Odyssey 2 video, but today I want to go more in-depth. What could each kingdom hold? Nostalgia? New ideas? Or a mix of both? Enjoy! Of the 2D Mario games, Yoshi's Island or just Super Mario World 2 was a fierce contender. Its new features and concepts were all a joy to play with. A Yoshi's Island themed kingdom would be amazing. Instead of just playing as the Yoshi we knew from Odyssey 1, we could possibly play as many different Yoshis as all different colors. Exploring flower gardens, glittering caves, and so many more fun areas in the 3D setting would be a Mario fan's dream come true. The only obstacle I can find is that it would be too similar to the Lost Kingdom, but that's just a minor problem that the Egg Kingdom will soar past. Both Mario Galaxy games are instant classics for any Nintendo fan. A galaxy-themed kingdom would be awesome. New mechanics like gravity physics and launch stars would complement both galaxy games. I suspect several planets with one main planet and one boss planet and other smaller planets. Each planet could be themed around a galaxy from both Mario Galaxy games. Rosalina's observatory could also be there too. For captures, I think Aluma is the first that would come to mind, but Galaxy has so many interesting creatures to make into captures. The possibilities are endless. I haven't finished Mario Galaxy yet, so I haven't experienced everything with the Galaxy titles, but I think that they would make a really cool kingdom. I did already kind of mention this kingdom in my previous Mario Odyssey 2 video, but I thought that it was so important that I had to bring it up again. A mountain and dinosaur themed kingdom would be the perfect sequel to the Cascade Kingdom. Mario would be exploring canyons and slowly climbing up a tall mountain. New dinosaur captures like a Brachiosaurus or Triceratops could be used to reach high areas or crash through boulders. Shy guys could be the main enemy, maybe inhabiting mines or waterfalls like shown in Mario Kart 8. Broken trees could be used as bridges, and maybe complex cave systems could create cool environments in the mountain. I feel like this would be a lot like the Cascade Kingdom or Gusty Garden of Mario Odyssey 2. Odyssey 1 used up a lot of popular environments like beaches, forests, deserts, and more. But the only main landscape feature that was missing was a mountain kingdom. I feel like Nintendo was saving some environments for Odyssey 2, so I think a mountain kingdom would be a perfect fit. Ever since Mario Odyssey launched, theories for Isla Delfino making it into the game were everywhere. Leaks were being uncovered, predictions were being made, and everybody just wanted a Mario Sunshine themed kingdom. Isla Delfino is a classic spot in the Mario franchise, and in a globe trotting game, this area is a necessity. We could see Mario explore Isla Delfino once again in a 3D setting. Maybe instead of having the flood mechanic on Mario, we could capture it. Delfino Plaza would be a great hub area to find cool moons hiding, and the classic level areas would be a joy to explore. We already have civilians, monsters, and areas, so Isla Delfino would be the perfect kingdom. I'm also really excited for the soundtrack that Nintendo could make. This isn't really an honorable mention, but I think that some kingdoms in Mario Odyssey can make a return in the sequel. 
I feel like we could explore more of New Donk City, with Mario maybe exploring another borough of the city. The Cap Kingdom was a pivotal story area, so I feel like that kingdom can make a return too. Also, I believe that Nintendo has more to do with the Ruined Kingdom. A really good atmosphere was it, and I think Nintendo can expand the Ruined Kingdom into a full main kingdom. A lot of the kingdoms on this list have to do with classic and nostalgic Mario areas from past games coming into Mario Odyssey 2, or just the landscape that I feel like could be used in the Mario Odyssey sequel. The number one spot has none of that. When you look at the map for Mario Odyssey, there's this bottle-shaped area that I feel like has to do with something. I know that some of the kingdoms, like the Cap Kingdom, it, the area itself is shaped on the theme of it. Like the Cap Kingdom is shaped as a hat, the Cascade Kingdom is shaped as a tr Triceratops head, and the Wooded Kingdom is shaped like pine trees. I feel like this feature could make a return Mario Odyssey 2. Could this bottle shaped area be a kingdom? I feel like the possibilities are endless. Could it be a food cellar? with some types of, um, like champagne or different beverages, or is it like a Seafolk village where it's on the ocean and you're exploring this area? I don't really know, but I feel like this has to be a kingdom. And I feel like at the top of the bottle, there's like steam coming out or something. I feel like that's cool. Maybe that, maybe that could lead to a capture where you're blasting off of the bottle. I feel like that could be something. I feel like the, we don't really know that much about this kingdom, but I really have so many possibilities for it. The captures would be cool, I can only imagine the music, and I feel like it will have something to do with the seaside kingdom, seeing that it had to do with a beverage and it's very close, right off the coast of Bublane. So I feel like this could be something really cool in this new kingdom. So there you have it. I'll be really excited to see a Mario Odyssey 2 reveal trailer, hopefully at the next Nintendo Direct. I have no idea when that Direct's gonna be. It's, it's, it was, it's been, been predicted for like two and a half months. But I'm always happy for a Direct anytime. Hope you enjoyed the video. Potato Sensei, out.